We turn the make from the spring into love And it grows, boy Even when the sky is gray And it shows, boy Even on a cloudy day Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabrielle and today's video is going to be a two-in-one. Get ready, we're doing my hair, these loose curls, and I'm also showing you this outfit that I got on, which is from Fashion Over. I'm going to try to get the link and leave it down in the description box just in case you guys want the dress. I got it in two different colors. But today I'm going to be showing you, um, yeah, my outfit and then we're doing this hair. So let's get into the details about this hair basically let me give you a rundown of the deets on this unit it is a 13 by 4 lace front wig and it's a straight texture okay and this is their honey blonde unit and it's 150 percent density and i have 24 inches so um let's just tackle that the length of it is 24 but it seems like it's a 26 inch um I'm 5'4", so that will just give you an idea, but normally when I get 24 inches, they, it just doesn't seem as long as this, but that's not a bad thing. That's that's a-okay with me. Um, This cap size, overall, it fits. There's just one thing that's slightly off, which is like ear to ear. It's like a centimeter short on both sides. Like it's like almost there. It's like, but it's just not all the way there. For me, I don't really mind that as long as it's like covering all the you know the back of my head like if it's just like a centimeter or so short that's so easy um to fix you can finesse the crap out of that with baby hair sideburns but if you're literally someone that's just like uh-uh uh -uh, it just gotta fit all around then I would suggest I'm um, going ahead and getting a larger cap size so I mentioned in the first video that I was really, really impressed with this unit and I had high hopes with um, this hair holding a curl because this wig had more of like a coarse textured feel to it compared to the other highlighted wig. It was a little bit more silkier, so it didn't really hold a curl as well. So I went ahead and I co-washed the hair and then I let it air dry and then I curled it. I did not flat iron it first um, because if you're unaware or you're just not like sure if the hair is going to hold a curl, um, just don't flat iron it. Try doing it in its natural state because um, it tends, from my experience, textures tend to hold their curls better when they're in a natural state. That's exactly what I did and I found out that like it was just a little bit frizzy, kinda. It was just like a little bit off with like how it looked. Okay, so since it was a little bit off, I went ahead and used my Garnier Fructis Light Oil Serum on the hair just to like tame the flyaways and just try to get the hair to be more like cohesive and everything and it worked but I felt like it just didn't fix the problem altogether. So so the next day which is today I decided to go ahead and put the serum on again then curl the hair and let me tell you it literally made all of the difference. Like, it like smooths it out and everything like that and these curls they did fall a little bit but I can tell like it's not going to fall completely to where it's like basically straight. I actually prefer this unit how it was styled in the first video just completely straight with my bangs bumped. Like I just thought that was just like the look. Okay so the last thing that I wanted to say the camera looks like it's picking up the blonde color like it's Mm, like it's a lot more warmer than what it is so I'm going to try to insert some pictures as well so you guys can get a feel of how the hair actually looks in regards to the color now I did go ahead and use my shimmery light shampoo to tone it so I might do that again but it's definitely not as warm as the camera is picking up on yeah that's about it I'm going to let you guys finish watching the rest of this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will check y'all lovelies out in the next one bye